Hey guys, this is Scott from Trim That Weed. In today's video, we will be talking about the reasons your sharp microwave drawer is not heating and how to fix it. Let's get started. Reasons your sharp microwave drawer is not heating. Like other electronics, your sharp microwave drawer may stop doing its core mandate, which is heating food. Here are some of the core reasons your sharp microwave is not heating food. The magnetron is defective. The magnetron is responsible for disseminating the microwaves needed to heat food. When the device is faulty, it produces little or no microwaves and therefore no heating. The high voltage diode is burnt out. The diode is responsible for passing heat to the magnetron. When the diode is defective, it can't pass currency to the diode, so magnetron cannot produce the heat necessary to heat food. Overloading. The sharp microwave drawer can only accommodate a specified amount of food and work for specific durations. Putting too much food in or using your microwave for longer periods of time can cause it to overheat and shut down. Now let's look at the best solutions you can apply to fix the heating problem. Ensure the microwave is not overloaded. Open the microwave door and check the quantity of food. The quantity of food should stay within two thirds of the available space. Additionally, whenever you heat, practice heating food in short intervals. The right amount of food and cooking in short intervals will save the microwave from overheating and thereby shutting down. Replace the magnetron. With the help of qualified personnel, access the sharp microwave drawer magnetron. The magnetron is usually located behind the control and instrument panel. Examine for damage and the presence of visible burn marks. If you notice any of these issues, the magnetron is burnt. Replace it with a new one. Note that the magnetron cannot be repaired once it gets burnt. Replacement is the only solution. Replace the high voltage diode. With the help of qualified personnel, access the diode. Inspect it for the presence of damage or visible burns. You can use a multimeter to confirm the currency's continuity. It should be at least 9 volt battery powered. If there is no continuity, the high voltage diode is damaged. Replace it with a new one. Thanks for watching.